Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 20th of 2024 is titled Aurora Dome Sky. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from a little over a week ago on May the 10th, and that is when one of the storms from the sunspot group known as AR6443 ejected what we call a coronal mass ejection. So that was sent out into space and happened to come in the general direction of Earth that didn't hit us directly, but came very close and therefore gave us a lot of big auroral displays. A coronal mass ejection contains large numbers of charged particles, and those will funnel around Earth's magnetic field, striking the Earth's atmosphere near the north and south celestial poles. So here we see an image from Wisconsin in the United States that shows some of that aurora, the very strong purple aurora up toward the top, and then a yellowish green aurora lower down. The different colors are due to different heights within the atmosphere and can also be due to different elements that are being excited in those locations. Most of what we see is actually due to oxygen glow. So oxygen when excited gives off specific colors. It gives off a distinct green in many cases, but in this case it can also give off other colors much higher up. Now the sunspot group has actually moved around the edge of the sun and may come back in another week. A large sunspot group can last for over a month and it takes the sun about one month to rotate on its axis. So it's quite possible another week from now or so we will be seeing additional auroral displays such as the ones that we saw earlier in May. So something to look forward to and we will not know until the sunspot group comes back around and see if it was able to survive that long. Now sunspot groups come and go with a pattern on the sun and it's an 11 year cycle and we are approaching the maximum of that meaning that we're going to be seeing more and more sunspots over the next couple of years and that could include more very large uh, sunspot groups such as this one and those could lead to far more auroral displays visible at various locations around the earth including locations farther south than we are much you than we are generally used to seeing them so normally the aurora is visible at far northerly latitudes now we can see them sometimes when we have a strong enough storm at lower latitudes and in fact you can see where this one is we can see where the north star is actually highlighted there in our image and it's kind of hard to see the star itself because of the brightness of the aurora at that location but that would be the north star or the north celestial pole as visible during the time when this image was taken so that was our picture of the day for may 20th of 2024 it was titled aurora dome sky We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.